First part of the day, he played it very well. He came back over the top. My father was a poker player, and I used to sit behind him and watch. I've actually been playing a lot of years. Actions on Tommy Garza. Tommy's played very conservative so far, Vince. He laid down those two big hands against Antonio. Both times he had him dominated, as we say. Now this time he looks down, he finds a six-deuce off suit, so that's not going to turn him on. Tommy, maybe he's kicking himself for not playing those tens earlier. Paul Darden folds his hand. And Chris Bigler with the do seven offsuit Vince, the worst hand in poker folds. Chris does fold. And Vince is on the button with ace high. Yeah, he's in that great position again, like we were talking about, with an ace, and yet he's deciding, no, I'm not going to take a chance this time. He opted to throw the hand away, and here comes Phil. Phil has raised 20,000 with a 7 10 of spade, a sort of unique hand. You know, he hasn't played many hands today, and he has to take a chance. He's doing a little semi-bluff here. And look at Antonio. Now, Antonio's holding the jack eight of hearts. Well, they both have sneaky hands, you know, both suited, interesting hands. He's calling. We're going to have a flop here. We have Phil with the seven ten of spade, Antonio with the jack eight of hearts. Who's going to get lucky here? And here comes the flop. It comes jack nine five. Now, Phil has flopped a belly buster straight draw Antonio and a backdoor spade flush draw. Raise. Look, Phil glances over at Antonio. Look at Antonio Let's glaring him with lasers. So if Phil was thinking about betting, he did not okay. bet. And Antonio says, I'm all in. Phil He's checks. going all in. Look at this. Now, Phil gets up. He walks away. Now, Phil doesn't have much of a hand, but I'm sure he's frustrated to see the guys moving Antonio in on him. Says, all my chips, I'm all in. Phil mucks his gut shot straight draw. Antonio, Antonio wins the pot again. And Phil is not in command of this game. He's aggravated here because, you know, I'm Phil Helmet. I'm the best poker player at this table, but this guy just outplayed him. In the meantime, after that pot, let's do a quick chip count. Paul is still our chip leader with 505,000, but the rest of them are all fairly close now. Phil has dropped down to 287. Antonio has come up now to third place. He's got 220,000 in chips. Vince, 187,000. Chris has 165,000. And Tommy has 145,000. Okay, Paul Darden, our chip leader, will be the first to speak here. The action is on him. He doesn't have too much of a hand, Mike. He has the ace seven. That's pretty interesting. He's raising in first position with ace seven offsuit, not a real strong hand. And let's see if they're going to play with him. Bigler looking at his hand. And Chris folds his hand. He's got eight queen offsuit. Notice Vince folded ace seven offsuit, the exact same hand that Paul raised with. Phil had nine six offsuit and folds. And now look at Antonio. Well, it's pretty amazing. He's got big slick. He's got a huge starting hand, ace king offsuit. This is going to be trouble for Paul because. He didn't expect this guy to have such a big hand. He's got to at least call it, wouldn't you think, Mike? I do think he's going to call it. It's 80 some thousand to him. He's sitting on 256,000. I'll be surprised, in fact, if he doesn't raise the pot. Paul, why are you doing this to me? He's reaching for all his chips. Vance, look. He's going to put it all in. He's going all in with the all ace in. king. He has done it. Paul Darden is saying, whoops, I think I just made a major mistake. <laughs> Look at Tommy, though. Now, Tommy has picked up a hand, too. He has a decent pair of sevens. What's he going to do? Can he stay in this pot, Mike? I can't see that he can call this hand because the pot's been raised and re-raised. It's not like he's playing against one player here. He's up against two players, and two sevens is not that big a hand against a raise and a re-raise. So you're right. He's throwing his hand away. Now, Paul, with the just a seven, looking over, just knows right now he made a mistake. Yeah, and of course I, he's going to throw it away. I can't see Paul and Cole another 171,000. Nah. Antonio picks up another pot. Oh, What's interesting, done. Vince, is the players have yet to see one of his hands. Now, we see it on television here, and we know he's raising all these pots, but these guys have no idea what he has. The action will be on Vince Bergio. And Vince has a weak hand. It's an 8-3 suited, and he folds. Now, looky, looky here. Big Phil Helmuth has finally caught a pair, a real pair of jacks, and he's going to raise it. He puts 40,000 out there. Antonio folds. And Tommy doesn't have a hand. He folds. Paul has a queen four. He folds. But Phil is so excited. He might win this pot. Just with this one raise, a pair of jacks, feeling comfortable. He's going to get well, Chris Bigler out. Yeah. He hasn't won a pot yet. A big smile, like, look at Phil showing his hand. <laughs> He's showing the pair of jacks. Good hand. My first hand. Yeah. It's the first pot he's won today, Vince, so uh, he's feeling a little bit better now because he finally won one, but it took him a long time to do it. I do tend to know what other people have. 
I do tend to understand what they're doing. Raise it all on up. And if you know what the other person has in poker, you basically can't lose. And this time, Phil has king four. He's the first act. He folds his hand. Antonio folds a five three. And here goes Tommy Garza. Now, Tommy's on the short stack, and he's moved it all in, Vince. Wow. He's going in with King Jack off suit. Not a tremendous hand. Well, he only has 77,000 left. He's moved in with King Jack off suit. Paul, who has ace high, throws his hand away. He gives him respect. And now look at Chris Bigler. Oh, yeah. He's picked up a real pair, a pair of eights, a very respectable hand, a good hand. And don't forget, he doesn't have that much money. He has a real decision to be made here. He knows that Tommy might be on the desperate side. Two eights is a pretty good hand. How many, many hands is he going to get better than that? He's going to make a decision. Does he want to play against the weak stack, the guy who may be making a move here? On the other hand, Tommy's been very conservative today. So he does have a tough decision, Vince, no doubt about it. If Chris plays this pot and loses it, he will not be out of the tournament. He will certainly be short stack, but not out of the tournament. Of course, if Tommy loses this pot, he will be out of the tournament. I'm all in. He's going all in. Chris is doing it. He says the heck with it. He's done it, and mathematically, he's made the correct play. Chris is excited. He knows he's maybe a little bit of a favorite with a pair of eights. Well, this is what we call a race in, in the poker so world. It's pretty much even money. It's like a coin flip as to who's going to win. Now, if Chris Bigler comes out on the wrong eights. end of this hand, he is going to be crippled. If Tommy Garza, the venture capitalist, loses this hand, he'll be out of this tournament. So there's more poker to come on the World Poker Tour. San Francisco Bay Area at the final table of the Lucky Chances Gold Rush Tournament and smack in the middle of a race. Absolutely. Tommy Garza, an amateur player, a venture capitalist, has, has put all his capital on King Jack offsuit. He is up against Switzerland's Chris Bigler, who has a real hand, a pair of eights. Let's see what happens if Tommy loses his hand. It's going to be a long walk back to Silicon Valley. Let's take a look. We're racing. Okay. And Chris Bigler has two eights. Two eights versus King Jack. And here we go. And the flop oh, bad beat for Chris so far. Tommy Garza has two Big turns. one for Tommy. Tommy's hit the Kings. The turn card is a deuce. There's still an eight in the deck. Eight. Chris Bigler needs an eight. He's got a two outer. Otherwise, Tommy will double up. And Tommy Garza wins that race, what we call a race in poker. Two over cards against a, a lower pair. Tommy Garza has doubled up. He extends his arms and cheers for himself. He's happy to win a pot. You're always happy when you double up. Chris might be wondering, well, why? How could he play that hand? It reminds me of the line from the Cincinnati Kid. And certainly, Tommy looks like Ever G. Robinson. He does. What's the line? The kid lost a pot to the man and asked him, how can you play that way? And the man said to him, you paid to play. Lessons are extra. You know, I got a feeling Ever G. Robinson said that a lot better. <laughs> yeah, I think he did, too. Antonio will be the first to act here. So that's Tommy's chip total. Antonio picks up a king nine and dumps it. Tommy dumps a king deuce off suit. Paul throws away a 10 four off suit. Chris Bickler going Chris all in. He moved all in. Now he might still be steaming from the pod before that. This is what Vince has got to figure out. Vince has an ace nine. He saw the last hand that he just lost. He's going for his chips here. He's not going to do it this time. He's going to let Chris take it. I'm a little surprised by that, I gotta tell you. I would think Vince would have picked up his steaming. Now look at Phil. Phil is hanging in there. Now Phil say counted up. Now Phil's only got an eight seven off suit. He's gonna try to add up now to see if it's mathematically the correct to try to outdraw him here to double him up. Now what's kind of interesting, maybe Phil picked up on something that Chris Bigler is uh, emotional right now, kind of steaming, and even though he has a marginal hand, he's actually considering it coming well, in. Well, he's doing the math. Is this hand worth two to one to call? That's what he's getting on it, and that's what Phil was trying to figure out. Well, the great instincts of Phil Helmuth kind of knew that Chris was a little weak there, but he still said it wasn't worth it. Now Chris has taken that pot. It's always nice to pick up a pot, especially when you don't have the rocks, the best hand. 
I started playing poker in 1997. I am raging under the gun. That was my, my first time in my life I played poker. I, I didn't know where the full house was before 1997. Well, the action's on Paul Darden to start with. He's in first position with the you jack six of spades. Not a good hand. He folds his cards. Chris has 96. And Chris has the four Vince, seven of spades. And he mucks his Bill, hand. And Vince and has the ten Bill, six of hearts. All these little suited cards. And here comes Phil Helmuth on the button. Now look what he has. A three Bill deuce offsuit. The worst spot. hand you can have just about. Looks like he's going to raise on the button with a, this miserable nothing hand. Well, like you said, he's in a good place. He saw the people before him going out. He thinks maybe I can steal this with a junk hand. And look at Antonio with the queen five he's got. He sees Phil's raise this pot 50,000. Boy, is he out to get Phil or what here? How can I be playing a queen five calling a raise I here? I don't know. He's maybe picked up on something like he thinks Phil might be bluffing here. I don't know how he picked that up. Phil's trying to have his game face on here, but I'm not sure it's going to affect Antonio here. Sure, staring him down. Look at Phil. If he's thinking about playing a queen five over the top of Phil here, you must think that he knows something about the way Phil's playing. Look at this. And Look at Antonio moving all in on Phil Helmuth with a queen five. Okay, that's what poker. What a bold move by Antonio here. That's poker. That's great poker. And now, let's look at Tommy's hand. And he has ace queen. My goodness, now it's been raised and re-raised, which automatically generally shrinks an ace queen into a full position. But Tommy doesn't have that many chips. He's going to have to play for all his money. He'll be out of the tournament if he's wrong here. Look at Phil Helmuth. Devastated that he's been re-raised. He's no longer looking at Antonio's goatee. Every time Phil Helmuth is raised on the button, they come back over the top of him. It's putting him in a little stew here. But this time, Antonio came over the top of the queen five vents. I'm telling you, this is poker. He has a feel for Phil Helmuth like you can't believe. What a read he's put on this man. He's done it exactly right if it gets Tommy out, and Tommy's folded this pot, and we know Phil's not going to call with a three-deuce offsuit. Look, Antonio shows the queen five. He showed him a queen high here. He's, he's rubbing it in. Look at Tommy's look. Tommy had ace queen, and Phil had nothing, of course, but just the idea that he would show him the queen five, it's going to stir up a hornet's nest here now. Here we go to the next hand. The action's on Vince Burgio. Vince has a 10-5 offsuit and folds. Phil with a 7-3 offsuit folds. Antonio also with a 7-3 offsuit folds, and now we're on Tommy on the button. And this is kind of interesting. Tommy has a, you know, just an average king eight offsuit, but he's thinking about raising. He senses a little weakness behind him. Everyone folded in front of him. So now he's saying, hey, maybe I could pick up this pot with a bluff. Tommy's and he's gonna definitely going to raise here. He said he's raising. He has 150,000 in front of him, remember? Also, remember, he just had ace-queen when Antonio showed the queen five, so I know he's steaming about that a little bit, but here he goes. He's, go he's all going in. all in, Mike. Whoa, he's bet all his chips, 150,000 on a king eight offsuit. It's not a strong hand, but he is in favorable position on the dealer button. Yeah, he just wants to take this pot out of frustration, maybe from the last hand, but look at look at this. Paul Darden has picked up big slick ace king. It's a huge hand. It's a very big hand, and that's gonna spell trouble for Tommy, I'm afraid. Well, look at this, man. And here he goes. Paul's gone in. He's, he's called him. Can I win two? And Chris had Jack 10. He throws his hand he away. Tommy's got to be sickened by this when he hands, sees. Please. Ace King. King eight for Tommy. Ace King for Paul. Tommy Garza, one more time, has put all his chips into the pot. Only this time it's no coin flip. He's up against Paul Darden this time. He's an underdog. Can he pull it out twice in a row, or will he be the first to go home? Stay tuned. We'll be right back. We're in the thick of it right here on the World Poker Tour. back at the Lucky Chances Casino in the San Francisco Bay Area at the finals of the Gold Rush Tournament. I'm Vince Van Patten along with Mike Sexton and we are witnessing a man in need of a miracle. Well Tommy Garza is going to have to hit this flop otherwise Paul Darden is going to bust him and send him home. Let's see what happens. 
So Paul has the best hand. Tommy is all in before the flood. Let's see if 